Hell yeah. Focus. What does the future of YouTube actually look like? After doing countless of hours of research, I finally got the answer. I need to grow a beard. So I finally invested into a new DSLR. I bought the Canon 80D and I'm very excited about it. But me buying new gear shows that I have faith in YouTube. When I talk to people and browse on the internet, I get this question a lot, which is, is YouTube dead? And I don't hear it only for YouTube, but also Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, whatever people are on. So for that reason, did I just say reason? For that reason, so for that reason, I've decided to create a series about the future of social media. So today I'll start with the future of YouTube. You're watching Dontrepreneur and this channel is all about making money with social media. So if that's something you're into, smash that subscribe button because I really need new subscribers to grow. So one thing we can all agree to is that cable TV is going to die. It is being replaced by services as Netflix and Hulu and online TV watching. And did you know that actually the best competitor of them all is called YouTube TV? You might not have heard of it because it's still in a pretty early stage, but it's an amazing platform where you can stream series, can stream sports leagues, where you can watch countless hours of videos, where you can record anything that's on TV, where you can watch certain channels and that for an extremely low price. So YouTube is really focusing on YouTube TV, the transition of cable TV to online and do you want to know a reason why I think YouTube is going to win it from all the competitors this reason is because Netflix and Hulu and all the services are reliant on the watchers they have they need the money to survive because it's the only thing they have but for YouTube it already has a huge platform and it's part of Google which means they're not so reliant on money which means they can spend a lot of money not earn a lot and still do an amazing job and the fun thing is YouTube makes money of the clients of Netflix and Hulu and you might think how well YouTube is part of Google and Google has the biggest cloud provider service on the planet so Netflix and Hulu need to store massive amounts of data into the cloud for people to stream. And where do they buy this cloud service? At Google. So the people who go to Netflix, Google is still going to earn money out of it. So that's the reason why YouTube is so extremely strong and the people who say, is YouTube dead? Hell no, it's not going to die because it's one of the biggest companies in the world. And besides that, they are the masters of video. So before I want to go any further, I would like to know what streaming services you use. Or maybe you still use cable TV. So do you use Netflix? Maybe YouTube TV? Do you use Hulu? Do you use cable TV? Drop them in the comments below because I'm really curious of the data. So now that we know that YouTube is likely not to die, I mean the chances are really really small for something to happen with such a good structure of money flow. That's a really weird sentence. Let me, let's change that up. So now that we know that YouTube is likely not to die, what is going to happen to the platform? Because companies such as Google and other social media platforms are changing so much. So what can we expect from YouTube? Well, the first thing is, and I talked to that before a little in previous video, you can ch check it out here. Is, it, is that the right side? There. So as we all know, Instagram has launched Instagram TV, which is a big competitor for YouTube because Facebook comes really close in terms of money. 
so it's a big competitor and what this means is YouTube is going to make updates which beats Instagram TV and what do we know of Instagram it's one of the biggest social networks so it's very social people interact people comment people private message each other and if we look at YouTube that's not the case so what can we expect in the future expect a lot of social <coughs> So, wow, that was my voice. Expect a lot of social updates. And what I mean by that, interaction. YouTube is going to boost interaction on the platform. So think of direct messaging each other, or making friends, or communicating through polls, or video chats, or whatever. YouTube is going to make these updates. Because honestly, it has to. Because if YouTube doesn't go social, it's more likely it's going to drop viewers and people are going to jump to Instagram TV. So if you look at the latest updates, YouTube has launched a beta on community. So at YouTube pages, you have a community tab. And with this community tab, you can now not only post videos, but you can also post text and polls and certain links. So it's becoming really interactive. But the thing is though, and it's kind of a bridge to the next thing I'm going to talk about, the beta options are still only for the bigger YouTube channels. So this also means that YouTube is not supporting the new creators, the starting people like me or maybe like you. And this trend is still going on. It started like a few years ago where they struck a huge punch to new creators, which was you now need 1000 subscribers and 4000 viewers where I'm really not on yet. <laughs> in order to make money from ad revenue. So it's really hard to get to that first level. And besides that, if the beta options and the good updates are only for big accounts, it only gives them a bigger head start. And the divide between big and small creators is going to be worse and bigger. So in terms of the future of YouTube, it's going to be more social, but it's going to hurt the starting creators. Well, for me, I see this as a challenge and it gives me energy. And besides that, if it's going to be harder for new creators one characteristic of starting creators is that they make bad quality videos I mean look at my videos that they're getting better but it's still not amazing besides that smooth out of focus but what I can get from that is the content on YouTube is going to get better and better because only big YouTube channels are getting a chance but that's good for the viewers because now when you browse through videos it's going to be good content and not just some weird guy with weird, weird stuff in the background and and and, <laughs> and who gets really thrilled with out of focus but you see the point it's going to get better I like the updates I like that YouTube is going social and there you go that's the future of YouTube is it going to die no where are the updates going social where does it hurt the most starting creators so there you go, the future of YouTube and stay tuned for the next videos because I'll make a series of the future of so of the future of social media platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. So stay tuned for that. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button because it will dramatically increase my viewer rate. But besides liking this video, the best thing you can do, which makes me so extremely happy, is to subscribe to this page. So if you haven't done that by now, please press that button. I'll wait for it. But that's it for now. Let's enjoy this out of focus for a moment. I mean... Woo! I will see you guys in the next video.